this Facebook Live is responding to cold outreach to me this last week. This is him reaching out to me. Hey, buddy, I'm Steven. It's nice to meet you. What's on your plate for today? I know you're Steven because Facebook tells me that it's it's Steven, right? So you don't need to reiterate that. Um, we're not buddies. We're not pals. We're not friends. I don't know you, right? It comes off kind of schmoozy a little bit. Um, I know you're trying to be nice. After our conversation, I understood your demeanor a little bit, and, and I get that. We're not buddies. We're not pals. I don't know you. I know your name's Steven. Okay, so you don't need to re- you don't need to repeat. I'm Stephen. Anybody that you reach out to knows that you're Stephen. Anybody that you reach out to that you've not had prior contacts with, don't hey buddy, don't hey friend, don't hey pal, don't hey bro. Um, now, if you're reaching out to somebody who's like 18 to 24, that and male, that may work. I'm 40. I'm an adult. That shit doesn't fly. I'm okay with it because I have an idea where you're going because you asked me a question. What's on my plate for today? Why the fuck do you care? We're not friends yet. We've not had any interaction yet. Way too early to hit me with a question that I can tell is leading. Okay. Next, my response is, um, I've got a couple of businesses. I've got several coaching calls and a couple of interviews for my group members and finishing up a course module for my course, period. You question mark. His response is, that's insane, my man. I don't mean to be nitpicky, but I'm not your man, right? We're not, we're not friends yet. This is, this is the approach. We're not dating yet. Court me, approach me. Don't try and date me yet. Way too early. So his next response is, that's insane, my man. Much respect. Cool. You're kissing my ass a little bit. You ain't got to do that. What time management system do you use? As soon as I read that, my thinking, just so you know, okay, I'm a sales guy. This is the shit that I like to think about all the time. That's insane, my man. Not really. It's my normal, regular, busy day. I'm not your man. You don't need to put me on a pedestal with either of those two halves of that, that statement, right? Much respect. Again, you don't need to go there. What time management system do I use? My immediate thought is, oh, fuck, this guy's going to pitch me. Why? Because when your message comes up on Facebook, it tells me your friends on Facebook, digital marketing strategist at Newman Group, systems and operations at how can I help question mark and referral specialist at real estate lives in Baltimore. Cool. Systems and ops at how can I help? I know a pitch is coming from this from this question, and it puts me off guard immediately. On top of the other couple of things that got me to that point, now I'm like, fucking really? Whatever, we continue having the conversation. I let you know, and here is my no. I'm telling you thank you, but no thank you. I've got an executive assistant and an operations manager. I use Google, nice and simple yet effective. Thank you, Stephen. His his next response after I was like, thanks, Stephen, you know, we're done here. And I didn't say that it was thank you, Stephen, period. Anytime I do, that's great leverage. I can tell you are, a, are self-aware. You're trying too hard. I am a, a sysops guru. Don't call yourself a guru. It's just, no, don't do that. And we love working with W forward slash people like you. Cool. I'm glad you do. I don't give a shit, Right. Like I'm not bought in because I haven't gone down my own path. I, you're bringing me a message that I'm not ready to hear. I don't give a fuck, right? Um, laugh out loud. I run a Facebook live show for young entrepreneurs. So a wide range of activities related. Again, I don't give a fuck. I'm not a young entrepreneur. I'm 40. I've got two teenage kids that are both in high school. I'm not a young entrepreneur. I'm a middle-aged business owner, right? So you're like screwing yourself with trying to put me in a box. Just don't do that, okay? I gave him a thumbs up. And then I responded, cool. You are in one of my groups about getting clients. Nice. I'm just learning about growing groups. Which group is it? Cool. You are in one of my groups about getting clients. Nice. I am just learning about growing groups. You're not, you didn't hear what I said. You didn't listen to what I was saying. You you responded with what you assumed because your mind is going this direction when the conversation's really over here, right? You got to slow down. We got to listen. We got to approach this a little bit different. 
my response to nice, I'm just, I'm just learning about growing groups. Cool. We teach that here. Stick around. We'll show you how to build an audience. Which group is it? Really? I'm a potential client of yours. You're outreaching to me on Facebook. Cold message. You're going for getting in my pants on this conversation. The close, right? That's what you're trying to get to because that's where your agenda's at. You don't know what the fuck group I run? Really? Bad move. Don't do that. My response, getting clients without being salesy. Dude, that's something I need to know a lot about. How am I doing so far? Zero to 10, question mark, question mark. My response is, eh, okay, your cold outreach game and conversation starter is salesy. LOL. Love it. What could I say instead? This is where the conversation went from, this guy's taking my fucking time. He's kind of pissing me off to... The guy actually has an interest in how to do this better. Fucking sweet. Let's let's do this. My response is I'll do a Facebook Live about this. Several of my lives touch on that. Touch on it. I wanted to see if he would go through and check some of the videos that I've posted. This group's going on its sixth or seventh week. We've got a thousand people in here. I've probably done 40 lives, maybe 50. I wanted to see if he would go through and backtrack and and check out some of the other videos. I think he watched two, neither of which were the shorter Facebook lives where I go into stuff like this. Whatever. I wanted to see, give him four or five days, see if if he would go through that process. Yeah, I'm going to be more active in that group. It's not that group. It's my baby, right? This is my child. I love this thing. It's not a that, right? Cool. I like your kid. It's funny. It's cute. It's not an it. It's not a that. It's a your group. Can I post this because I think it's hilarious and I'll and I'll think of a good convo cue for it. He posted the picture that the, the post is based around. I said, sure, not a problem. TFW, you accidentally cold reach the owner of the group and then some like, you know, smiley face, whatever in your group rather. Slow down, man. You're totally trying to approach me. You know, let's let's do this. Let, let's build a relationship here. Let's have some conversation here. My response to that, w- him asking if he could post this in the group was totally tag me in it and say something about how could I do this better or differently? It's all good, brother. We all have the same. We all start at the same place. Only reason I know a better way to do it is because I've screwed it up. LOL. It's the truth. I even posted that in my comment on on his thread. His response, amen, I want to be failing as frequently and with as much awareness as possible. Don't even worry. I understand what you're trying to say there. I disagree with it. The intention is to not fail. The intention is to understand what does and doesn't work. And when you come across something that doesn't work, you take the time to correct it, right? This isn't about failing. There's this big thing going on the last two or three years. Fail fast, fail hard, fail free. Really? Don't put the emphasis on that because then that's where your mindset's at. And then guess what you get more of? Failing. We don't want to do that. This is the one, and this is his continued conversation in like three different, you know, in three different messages. Don't even worry. This is the one weakness where it makes a ton of sense to tunnel on IMO. You're thinking too fast and your hands can't keep up. If you make it hard for me to understand the communication that you're giving me, you're making it harder for me to want to participate in the conversation. Slow down a little bit. Considering I'm an admin side legend, I'm going to reread this, see if you guys understand this. Amen. I want to be failing as frequently and with as much awareness as possible. Don't even worry. I'm not worried. I don't give a fuck. This is the one weakness where it makes a ton of sense to tunnel on. Dig in, I guess, maybe, considering I'm an admin side legend. I don't know what the fuck that means. Now you're putting yourself on a pedestal? That's that's how I'm feeling. That's like what I'm understanding. I just responded with a thumbs up. Cold outreach is all about approach. It's all about style. It's all about a totally different way than what everybody does. Here's the key. If you're going to do cold outreach and you're going to do it over a social medium, if you're going to do that, you need to, and I want you guys to think about the conversation that I just went through. 
Where was his motive? What was his agenda? Your prospects motive and agenda is to get what they want. And guess what they don't want? Your message at the wrong time. As a salesperson, as somebody with a thing to sell, your agenda and your motive is automatic. If you're a the wrong kind of salesperson and you're doing a cold outreach method, I don't care if it's over the phone. I don't care if it's over email. I don't care if it's on LinkedIn, Facebook, face-to-face. You walk into somebody's business, I don't give a shit. If your agenda and your motive initially and you didn't take the time to research the person you're reaching out to in any way, shape, or form, and your process isn't as solid as Brendan's in the qualifying aspect of figuring out who you're going to reach out to in the first place. If your agenda and your motive to start that conversation and your approach comes across with that, me, 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 you're already fucked. You've got two opportunities to get somebody to buy into your thing. Close them hard and take the lay downs, and those are the people that you don't want. If you're going to cold outreach to somebody and you're going to do it by a messenger on Facebook or on LinkedIn and you don't know the first thing about that person and they can tell that, what does that mean to them? It means they aren't important. Oh, so it really is only about your end goal, getting in my pants. I use this dating analogy. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. It's just, it is who I am. It's a really easy way to explain it because most of us are adults. Most of us have gone through the dating thing. If my approach to a woman is all about getting the end result that I want as fast as possible under my own, right? The way I want it, how I want it, when I want it, why I want it. She can absolutely tell just like that. It's a huge turnoff to 99.2% of the women on the planet. The other 0.8% of the women that it's not a turnoff to, guess what? They're going to give you something you can't wash off, okay? It's all in the approach. Here's exactly how I do this. And I've done this with now over 50 people in the last four months on Facebook specifically that I'm trying to build connection and relationships with. Why? Because we are... We're doing a course. We need partners. We need people that it makes sense to have communications and conversations with. Strategic people that I want in my business, I'm reaching out to cold. Here's how I do it. I find the people that it makes sense, i.e. my qualification process. I'm not going to go through that here because that's not what this call is about. I'm going to go through my qualification process and I'm going to identify if somebody's somebody that I want to connect with. Brandon Havner, Ben Perry. Scott Oldford. I mean, I could go down the list. There's a bunch of people I could totally name drop on here. Here's the approach. If you're going to reach out to somebody and you've got something that you want to sell and they might be a fit, first you show up gentle in their world. This is a longer game process. This is about building relationships. This is about let's find somebody that we want to date long term and then probably marry. This is about somebody that we want to bring into our world long term, high value quality. I'm going to show up gentle and curious and without an agenda. I never bring up the thing that I do. I never talk about the thing that I could help anybody with, period, ever into discussion. I'm going to show up in their world. I'm going to either on their business page or or I requested to be their friend or I'm in their group, whatever. I'm going to give a little bit of connection. I'm going to like a couple of things. Once they accept my friend request or once they let me in their group, I'm going to continue to qualify them. I'm going to continue to vet them to see if, is this a front? Is this smoke and mirrors? Is this bullshit? Nope. Okay, cool. I'm going to like some stuff. I'm going to short comment on a couple of things. I'm going to show up in their world. I'm going to become visible without an agenda. When somebody accepts my friend request, I'm going to write back, hey, Tom, Thanks for the connection, man. Hope you're having a great day. I'm going to let it go because I've got a list of people that I'm doing this with, right? I'm going to let it go. There's a chance that they're going to reach back out and say, hey, man, cool, no problem, X, Y, Z. If they bring it to me and they say, yeah, cool, man, no worries. I I saw the the logo on your personal page. I read a couple of posts, whatever and they start that conversation, I'm going to let them lead that conversation for a while. And eventually, most of those people are going to 
ask me what it is that I do. If they don't respond back to that first, hey, man, thanks for the connection. Hey, Tom, thanks for the connection. Hey, Rose, thanks for the connection. If they don't respond back to that, if I really want them in my world, I'm going to continue to show up gently in their world. I'm never going to bring out what I do or that I've got something to sell or that I can help somebody, right? I'm never going to I'm never going to offer my services and I'm going to make your world so much better. It just, it comes off salesy, right? I'm going to make the connection. I'm going to continue that conversation. I'm going to make it nice and easy and comfortable. And we're going to determine if we're a fit. If I've done my homework and I've set up my processes, somebody's going to creep me and then they're going to say, what's this about? What do you do with this? I saw your logo. I joined the group. What's this about? That's earning the right to then, here's what I do. Okay. That's the short on social media. Okay. Cold calling. Brendan and probably Frank and myself and Mark Levine. Those of us who have done the sales thing for a long period of time, we know that if I've got a cold call list, okay, if I've got a list of people, I can do it the fast, cheap, dirty, and easy way, which is I can buy a list and, and okay, so let's say that they're even narrowed down by industry. Big whoop. They're in different states. They're in different cities. They're different size companies. They're different within that same industry types of companies. You can call out of a phone book if you want. I totally don't want to waste my time. The reason being is, is the broader that prospect avatar is, the more of a filter I have to be, which means the more time I have to put in, which means that the numbers game gets bigger and way more less likely that I'm going to end up with somebody that I can have an actual conversation with who's a total fit on both my end and their end and then buy. And if I'm cold calling in almost all cases, unless it's more than a low five figure ticket, they're never closing on the first call. Okay. If I'm going to go through all that headache to be the filter, I'm going to figure out a different kind of net that I can throw out there. If I'm going to go tuna fishing in the Pacific and I want this kind of tuna for this kind of sushi, why would I throw out a giant net and bring in everything and have to throw away 90 or 95% of the fish right off the bat? I got to like hand pick them up and throw them off the boat. I don't want to do that. No, I'm going to find out where those specific tuna are at how deep in the ocean they are. I'm going to get a net that's specific to just them. And I'm going to use a smaller net and I'm going to bring up specific fish. And that way I can go through them, right? If you know anything about sushi, it's all about grading the fat content in that fish. Well, that's how I'm going to do it. So if I've got a list of people that I'm going to cold call, I'm going to start with a much higher targeted list of people that I can cold call and have that conversation with. And then my conversation starter is going to come off completely different than everybody else that does whatever I do. If I'm selling business to business finance like I used to, there was a general, hey, my name's Landon. I work with so-and-so. We work with people in your industry. I think we're a fit. We should have a conversation. Hey, Bob, this is Landon. This is a sales call, man. You might just want to hang up. Totally not even kidding. That's how I would do it. Have a great, fantastic night. I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace out, Cub Scouts.